Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and this is a short um, video on a little experiment I'm doing on eBay. Um, now, many of you out there will use eBay as one of your platforms to sell some of your stock. Um, they're not the biggest company in the world or one of them uh, for no other reason. Now, we can achieve some seriously good prices on eBay, um, but at the same time, as of late, it has become harder and harder to get the sales. So what I've been doing, um, basically, I always sell on an eBay shop. Um, for, I haven't sold on an auction for probably five years. So just as a little experiment, um, I put five items from, from the shop to auction. Now, I've done done this uh, back 10 days ago and the items finish now in a little under an hour and I'm going to give you a quick look at the items now and then I'll, uh, I'll cut the film and I'll film the last two or three minutes of the items. It'll be interesting to see how many people bid on the last minutes um, as opposed to through the week. The five items have sat there for the 10 days and only one of them has a bid and that is a single bid. So it'll be interesting to see do they come off unsold do they sell? Do they go up at least? Um, when do people start bidding on eBay? Is it the last few minutes? Is the 10 days purely just an advertisement? Showcase your item and then they bid within the last five minutes? I don't know. It's been so long since I've done an auction. Now, I'm doing this experiment on a larger scale as well. I decided, uh, say, 10 days ago to do this experiment um, with five items. And then, even though I've done it, I felt, okay, maybe I need to do it on a grander scale. Um, it's like doing a survey. What's the point in doing a survey asking 10 people something? So, this experiment is just a little taster. Um, it'll give me an idea, can I sell on auction or do I need to just put the items on a fixed price shop and just let people make me offers? Um, I'm very interested to see how these five go. They're, they're nice items. Um, and as of yet, I dropped them all down to £12, which is, to be honest, I'm not even going to cover cost and fees. Um, I'm going to probably make a loss at the £12 each. However, I, these are a couple of pieces I've had for a while, so I don't mind taking a loss, putting my money into something else and making a profit on that. So we're going to look into it, uh, see how they go. However, I do have um, a similar experiment on a much grander scale where I'm really risking some big losses. Um, I've put everything from Stife Teddy Bears, Waterford Crystal, everything down to 12 and 18 pound start price with no reserve. I really need to know, one way or another, do I carry on with the shop and look at other platforms as including in my operations, or do I transfer certain things to the auction and see? we'll see. I can't do any more than uh, try the experiment and see what happens. So I'm going to give you a little look at the, um, the, the five pieces at the end tonight now um, and then we'll, um, we'll go from there and hopefully we'll get a few sales. Okay guys, the first piece here we have which I transferred on auction is Purely, you know, it's mid-century, it's handmade, hand-painted, you have a puppet horse and it's cart. Now it has no strings or the, um, the wooden handle to operate it, however, uh, it really is a nice bit of vintage toys. Um, I think this was up for 25 or £30. I've dropped it down to £12 with no reserve. Now, I haven't changed the descriptions from my shop descriptions, I haven't changed the categories. Um, all I've done is send them straight to auction with no reserve. Now, it's only had 25 views in the 10 days. So I'd be interested to see how many people only look at the last half hour of items or so. They've got 38 minutes left, and we'll see. Next, we have a pair of early antique spectacles. Now, early optical always sells well. I get £25 a pair of these all day long. Yet, I've had 69 people look at them. i got no watchers and I've had no bids at £12. But yet, I know these to sit on the shop, 
And as a rule, I get £20-25 quite regular. This pair, for some reason, has slipped the net and I've had it for quite a while. Hence, I, this is the pieces I've tried on the auction. There is nothing wrong with them. They have their lenses. They are fully Hallmark 10 karat roll gold. They're antique in the case. Um, so we'll see. Now we have a solid brass door knocker. It's last quarter of the 20th century. It's vintage. 70s, 80s maybe. Um, it's collectible as in it's for anybody in equestrian. It has the horseshoe back in, the horse head for the knocker and so on. Now I tried, this was up for about 20, 25 pound. I dropped that down to 12 pound. Sold first day. It's only had 14 views uh, with one watcher. But it, as I say, sold first day. So I'd be interested to see if that goes up or if it just goes off the one bit because really I'm not making much money at 12 pounds. Um, and I do get 20s. These pieces are easy 20 to 25 pound items all day long. This is what I normally sell regularly. Now we have a brass tea caddy. Now tea caddies have always been a very popular seller for me. I've never struggled to sell a tea caddy. Um, I've had hundreds for sil solid silver ones, um, tens and tens of pounds for silver plate. This is a nice Edward the Seventh brass tea caddy. So it's you can date it early uh, 1900s um, in very good condition. I've knocked it down to £12 from 25 It's only had five views, one watcher. i got no doubt it's going to sell, to be honest with you, but it's, I think it's going to sell for the £12. The final piece is a 1950s pottery dog. Uh, now, it's by a company called Scheisler. Um, it's a Staffordshire company. Um, and this isn't a small dog, this is a large dog, um, six or eight inches long. Again, dropped down to £12, only had eight views. How can a site that has probably 100 million members generate eight views in 10 days on an item? So either there's too many categories for people to filter through, or I'm doing something wrong in my description or title and I'm not being found or people only look at the items in the last 30 minutes on eBay in the 10 days is just a waste of time you just well do three day sales realistically I don't know but that's what we're here to find out so I'll put the video back on now um, probably two or three minutes from the end and I'll film the ending of the auctions and then do a little talk on the results just a little quick update for you guys. We're uh, we're down to 20 minutes. The views haven't really changed a lot. 69 still, 8, that's gone up 1, uh, 25, um, still no movement. Um, so that 18 minutes didn't really make any difference. Um, so far it's looking like these are going to come off pretty much unsold. So we'll see and I'll uh, I'll come back now in a couple of minutes. Okay guys, we're down to the very last four minutes. As you can see, not a lot has changed. Um, now, i be honest with you, I did expect to start seeing some movement on maybe some last minute bids or some, um, certainly the views. Now, it's 8 o'clock, so it's not exactly um, a bad time. It's 8 p.m. Um, so obviously, people are not at work. Um, it's it's a weekday, yes, granted, I'll give you that. Um, but does that mean you can only sell realistically for good money on eBay on weekends? So there again is another thing we need to start looking at. Um, they, I, I feel there's nothing wrong with any of the items. Um, if you went to buy any of these off an antique dealer, tea caddies, uh, the spectacles, anything, you wouldn't get them for the £12 I'm offering them year to people. Um, as I've said, I'm not going to make any money on this. And I must admit, this little sample here is making me very nervous for the experiment I'm running at the moment. But I've transferred 100 items over to an auction. Now, there's a number of factors with that experiment I'm running. That 100 items that are in auction means I can't have sales on them 100 items throughout the week. So that's going to have uh, an effect on my income. Because um, no doubt some of those 100 would have sold. Now, 
how many of them are going to come off and sold. Now, eBay, listing or on auction on eBay for general public is free. However, it's not free for me. Um, I am a business, and a business, as a business seller, um, I have to pay on eBay to list my items. Um, public can list the items for free and only pay commission when they sell. Now I have to list the items. I pay listing fees about, I'm not 100% on how much it was. It might be 30 pence, something like that per item. But you add it up, there's one. There's five items there, so there's £1.50. Then I lose the commission for the sale to eBay. It's another pound, pound fifty. So there's two pound fifty, three pound gone already. Then eBay got the cheek to charge me commission on the postage that I'm not making money on. Royal Mail and my homes and that, they're four pound no matter what. Uh, just for anything with a bit of tracking. So if you work on an average of a five pound postage, uh, I lose another 50 pence then to eBay for the commission on the postage. Then they put VAT on their charges. So I'm already down about three or four quid out of this lot uh, just on one item selling for £12. Then when I'm paid by PayPal, PayPal take their cut. In total, you lose about 25% of your cost of the sale price to costs. And 25% of the £12, if it go, one item goes for £12, is going to be basically uh, about £2.70ish, somewhere around there. Uh, take out the cost of the item, I'm going to make a pound, maybe two pound. That's going to be eaten up in the bubble wrap and the parcel tape and everything. So this experiment is going to cost me money. Um, I'm more than shocked that uh, the bids aren't coming in, I'll be honest with you. Uh, we got one minute left and nothing seems to have changed. The views have stayed pretty much the same. Um, I have 76 items unsold here. They're not unsolds. I don't have unsolds because um, I don't use auction. They are what I've transferred from auction to uh, from shop to auction. Um, obviously, I've deleted some, but the reason they're in the unsold section is because I've transferred them from the auction, uh, shop now to the auction for this experiment I'm running. But I must admit, I'm more than nervous now as to see the results. If I'm losing money on this four or five, what am I going to lose on the hundred items I've sent over to auction now? Um, and we then have to start looking at what am I doing wrong um, so far nothing has changed still the one bit single bid of £12 um, now you can argue it's the stock but I can guarantee you if I search eBay I'll find all that stock sold for more money and if you like I'll pick a tea caddy and the spectacles and show you in just a moment I'm sure that I can find them highest price someone will have sold them for a lot more money than what I'm offering them at so the next thing we have to start looking at then is, is it um, a postage issue? People won't buy with the postage. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's change this. Uh, ended recent first. Right, so there we have Four items didn't sell, didn't even take a bid. And that's through an auction. A £12 with no reserve. Uh, I bet the other one went for the single bid of £12 and didn't go up. My computer ever loads it in. You have to bear with me a second, computers froze. The joys of having a lot of children using my Wi-Fi in the house. Yet again, another um, area of being a working single dad. So if I go over to my uh, sold section here, um, we'll have a look now what the uh, horse, horse door knocker sold for. And there we have it. Sold for £12 with £5 postage UK. Little Miss Alice. Now, as I've just explained to you, that's going to show me zero profit whatsoever. Now, I'm going to um, run a search out of curiosity. Rolled gold spectacles or cackles? Spectacles. 
start wrong. Oh God, is it eBay spell check? No. Spectacles. Well, we'll have a look. I'm going to go completed and sold. I can't go complete. I'm going to go to sold then. Sold listings, if there's any on there. And I'm going to go highest price because I want to see what the highest price people have achieved. And let me see if I've spelled it wrong. Obviously spelled spectacles wrong, just do the easy thing in Google search. Spectacle. It's an A not an I. Right, okay. So spec tackles. Okay. Let's get rid of that one. Right, here we go. Now, 1920s Art Deco, Roll Gold, Tortoiseshell and Rimmed Round Spectacles, £116. £460. Pairs there, £33, £31, £28, £28. So what did I just do wrong? Um, selling, uh, offering a pair for £12. Um and not selling. As you can see all these are sold. 25, 27, 35, 25, 24, 21. Now I'm going to show you mine. And sold. And these were on offer for £12. They have the tortoiseshell rim, just the same as the others. Uh, let's come back up. There we have them. They are no different to anyone else's. They are the early pieces. They're fully hallmarked. They have the tortoiseshell rim. And we just looked at a pair of them sold for £128. Then you think, well, why are they not bidding on the items? You'd think maybe you've got bad feedbacks. So we go back over to my eBay. Take a look at my feedbacks. I have 99.4% positive, um, one neutral, two negatives. I'll go to the negatives, just so you can see them. Item arrived broken, fine, fully refunded. Um, this one was their own fault, advertised the total weight was 73.6 uh, grams, but as I sold it, the coin was in a case and it was proof and couldn't be opened and I told them the total weight including the case was the that weight and they misread it so it was their own fault that one um, refund was offered twice but they decided they wanted to keep the item because it still went in cheap enough that is out of over two and a half thousand feedbacks them two negatives so it's certainly not my postage I am more than uh, concerned and confused I don't understand how one person can get £128 for a pair of rolled gold tortoiseshell spectacles and another can't get £12. So it's not the items I'm offering. The items I'm offering are really nice quality items. Now at the same time I'm very worried about the 100 I've transferred to auction on a gamble. So that is maybe exciting uh, for you to see the results but at the same time it's um, very uh, scary for me. Now, I'm going to need to look very closely at what I'm doing wrong. Now, my average income is really good on eBay. I don't really have a problem. So, uh, I'm really unsure what I'm doing wrong that other people are not. So, I think maybe I'll see how these 100 finish. And maybe I'm going to have to try another experiment of increasing the price or taking a gamble on the sale price but putting free postage. But the only downside when I do free postage, I lose £4 or £5 across the board just on UK parcels. I use my Herms and it's either £4 to send an item or £5 or £6 or £7 depending on the weight. There's nothing less than £4 with tracking. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a little solid silver ring, it is still £4, that's what they charge me. 
or three pound sixty something, but with the jiffy bag and everything, I lose four pound per item. So can I justify losing four pound an item? Um, and maybe eBay will actually advertise my item then. I don't know. Um, my account's in very good standing. I sell worldwide, um, so it's definitely not that. So I'm really interested in finding out where my problem lies. It's certainly not my stock. So I hope you've enjoyed the uh, video. If you have any suggestions or comments to try, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, please leave a comment below. Um, don't forget, I've got the experiment of a hundred items running like this. I can see it's going to cost me a lot of money if uh, I have a similar result. So, fingers crossed on that one. Anyway, you'll find me on Facebook, Antiques Arena, uh, eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance, where you can clearly, at the moment, grab yourself a real bargain. And we have our own website, antiquesarena.co.uk. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found this interesting. <laughs> I'd say I found it interesting, only devastating. Thanks, guys.